Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm with Learn the Signs, Act Early at the University of Kentucky Human Development Institute. This video highlights the important health benefits of breathing and provides techniques on how to be successful engaging in deep breathing yourself or teaching breathing techniques to others, particularly to young children who need guidance and practice in learning proper breathing while in a calm state. That way they can master the technique in a situation where they may be experiencing stress and need to use breathing to help calm their body and mind. There are many benefits. Breathing moves air into the lungs that brings oxygen in our body and moves out carbon dioxide that our body doesn't need. We take breaths every day naturally, but we can also work to control our breathing to help our bodies and our minds when we feel stressed or upset. Breathing techniques and exercises can help manage stress and build resilience and strength against stress in the future. Always remember to set the breath up for success and easy breathing by finding a comfortable position where you are straight, not slumped over. There are two things to consider when effectively working on breathing, imagery and sensory. Imagery is important to help understand expectations of the breath and how it should feel or how one should move their body. Using images to represent the breath gives examples and guidance for the movement of the air, the shoulders, the belly. Imagery encourages deep breathing that fills the lungs instead of shallow, quick breaths. Here are some examples. A breathing ball or balloon to represent filling of the lungs for deeper breaths. Breathe in deep as the balloon or ball expands. It gets bigger and then we breathe out as it gets smaller. We can use something like a breathing ball or balloon to help us learn how to take deep breaths. So we breathe in when it goes big and out when it goes in. Good, try that again, ready? For example, take a slow, deep breath in as the ball gets big and then a quick breath out as the ball goes in small, just like we let go of a balloon. We take a big, deep breath in and then a fast breath out, ready? Good. Now, can you try? Good. Good. We can also use these props to help show how to deep breathe and how long to hold our breath and to control the speed of the breath. Good job. Now let me show you one other thing. The breathing ball can also help us know when to hold our breath, right? So we're gonna breathe in nice, big, deep breath and hold it. One, two, three. Now out, one, two, three. Perfect, <laughs> you try. And here's a video showing the breaths of a blowfish that we can follow as we breathe in as the fish goes up and it gets bigger and then out as the fish goes down and gets smaller. In as the fish goes up and it gets bigger and then out as it gets smaller. You can see lots of great imagery here with the fish breathing in and the bubbles breathing out along with the scale on the side going up and down with the words in and out. Something like this gives multiple ways that someone can follow the imagery of the breathing technique. We can also use things like bubbles or a pinwheel, like we are smelling a flower or blowing out a candle. This makes breathing fun and helps teach slow control. So to get the pinwheel to go, we have to breathe nice and slow and control our breath. Yeah, oh. yeah very 
go. Blow it. Blow it. Next, we have sensory. Use the senses to help with the breathing techniques. Feel the touch of your hands. Place one hand on your chest and the other on your belly. You can feel the air fill your lungs and your body move and expand to make room for that breath. Feel the breath go into the lungs and the air go out on your lips. Feel the movement of your body and demonstrate the movement of your breath. Feel and see your chest and belly expand and get bigger. The weight of your shoulders that keep you still and focused on the movement of the breath right here in your core. Listen to the sound of the breath going in the nose and out the mouth. Not only do we feel our breath in our nose and our lips, we can also feel it on our bodies, right? So take one hand, put it over your heart, yes, like you're doing the pledge, and one hand over your belly, perfect. And we're gonna take a big deep breath in. Feel how the air moves. Good job, do it again. Good, see how your hands are moving? Use your arms to represent your breath, lifting them up as you breathe in and slowly lower them down as you breathe out. Good, in and up, out and down. Let's do that one more time. In and up, out and down. It's also fun to have a stuffed animal friend join the deep belly breathing practice and ride your belly up and down as you take deep breaths in and out. Up and down. In and out. Shape breathing is an excellent way of demonstrating the use of imagery and sensory together. Using the images of shapes like triangles, squares, or stars can guide our breath. So this is our star shape, right? Yeah. And we're gonna breathe up and in and down and out. And we're gonna go all the way around, right? Yeah. So let's trace it. So you wanna trace it first? Ready? Let's I breathe think together. Marcella gets what, Marcella? Okay, Marcella, okay. ladies first. So you get to trace it up and down. Okay, here we go. So let's go first. Yeah, thank Perfect. you for waiting to go first. Okay, ready? Start right here. And we're gonna go nice and slow. Up. Nice. Good job. Box your square breathing. This deep breathing technique helps you slow down your breathing as you count to four for each breath on each side of the box. You breathe in for four, hold your breath for four, Breathe out for four, and then four more counts of holding your breath. This time, we're gonna hold our breath. Okay, so when we go across the top, we're gonna take a deep breath in for three. Hold it. One, two, three. Now let it out. One, two, three. Now hold it again. One, two, three. I'll try. Okay, remember, you gotta hold, hold on the holds. We're gonna start up here, ready? And ready, go. One, two, three. Hold. Out. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. In. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. Out. One, two, three. It's good. High five. Nice. This technique focuses on the slow breath that calms your nerves and decreases stress in the body. Another great benefit to breathing techniques is that we can do what works best for us and take or hold our breaths for the number of counts that we are comfortable with. This one has a hold too. Can you guys guess where the hold is? Yeah, so we're gonna breathe in. And then what do you do? Hold. And then breathe out. That's different. It is different because it's a different shape. So we're gonna breathe in on the up. One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. And out. What do you think? Do you think you can trace it with your finger? Up. Hold. Out. And in. Hold. Out. One more time. In. Hold. One, two, three. Out. One, two, three. 
For this next set of triangle breaths, let's try and up our count from three to five. Ready? Here we go. In for five. One, two, three, four, five, and hold for five. And out for five. One, two, three, Combining imagery and sensory. We do not always have printed images or shapes, so another great tool is to use our hands. So we can use our hands for the box or square breathing, and this gives us the visual cues we need to follow the breath and the shape, just like this. Sometimes when we're out and about, we don't have our shapes on paper, right? So we gotta be creative, and we can use our hand, yeah? There's five points on a star and five fingers on our hands. So you guys show me your hands. Perfect. And we're gonna breathe. Here we go together. In and out. In. Good. And do we feel better? I hope this video got you nice and relaxed with some healthy deep breathing and also got you comfortable helping others with their breathing techniques. There are lots of wonderful resources out there with videos and suggestions that use imagery or sensory to support healthy breathing techniques. Please check out some of these links in our bio below. Happy breathing!